Hey, what is going on guys? Grim here, and today I'm showing you how you can get a solo public session within GTA 5 Online. It's super simple and takes all of 5 minutes to do, and this works on all 3 systems, so that's PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. So let's get straight into this. As you can see, I'm in a full public session right now. Well, near enough full anyway. But, we want to make this a solo session, so what you want to do is go on online, then click on playlists, and then you want to create a playlist. In this playlist you want to add a race called At The Races and then it's all you want to add and then you want to save it and name it something like Solo Lobby or something. I'm going to name it Solo Lobby 2 as I do already have one. That's all you need to do. So I'm just going to put Solo Lobby in right now. And there we go, it's just going to save. So while this is saving, I'm going to tell you why you would need a solo lobby. You could do this to uh, just play with your friends, such as you would in a uh, invite only, but it doesn't restrict you with some of the missions you can do. Or you could just use it to do all the CEO stuff, which is basically what everyone wants to do. So you have no one trying to grief you. So anyway, simply just launch this session, I mean the playlist with that mission in it. I won't uh, skip any of this because I do want you to see everything at how you do it. So what you're going to want to do is just launch the mission, then you want to put it on one lap, just accept all that, and then put it as closed, that's quite important, because that, make, that makes it a solo session, then accept that, and then you're going to want to do the race. You, you can just pick any car, it doesn't matter, accept all that. So now you just want to um, just do the lap, it's two laps for one lap. Which sounds a bit weird, but it's quite a small race, so you need to do two laps. Even though we only say it's a one. So that's one lap down, we're going to do the second one now. In this glitch there's no weird thing you really need to do, it's really straightforward so don't worry about that. We are coming up to the hardest part of it, but once you find out where it actually is, you'll be laughing, it's so simple. Simply just end the race, you'll now see your uh, character just start dancing around or whatever after you got your money. Whole 800 bucks, whoa. There we are, you guys dancing around. Now you're going to want to leave a like Once you've left a like, you're going to want to let this uh, counter just count down at the bottom right. Once you've done that, you're going to want to then uh, restart the playlist. On Xbox, which, which is the console I'm doing this on, it's X. I'm not too sure where it has on PlayStation or PC, but just restart it, as you can see. For some reason you'll get a bit more RP, I think that's for uh, finishing the playlist. Yeah, it is. So now it'll jump back to daytime for some reason, and it'll sort of zoom into your character again. But you won't be able to actually move or anything like that. This is the weird thing. Then it'll load you back into the playlist and then all you need to do is quit. Just simply quit the way you'd quit out else. So I'm back in the playlist. I'm going to quit. There we are. Then once it loads us in, we'll be in a solo public session. Now, nine times out of ten, you'll have this solo for hours. You can invite your friends to it. 
but every so often you'll get a random uh, joins very rarely though but if this does happen they usually just leave because they don't want to be with you or they'll just get on with their own CEO stuff and then if it, if it does fill up you simply just want to do this race again so anyway thanks for watching please leave a like subscribe for my GTA 5 gameplay and check out the GTA 5 playlist links are down in the description